Uh, hello uh, guys, today we're going to see uh, how to determine the equivalent circuit parameters. So uh, as we saw it in class, in order to determine the equivalent circuit parameters, we should have to do the three tests. The first one is null or test, and the second one is block rotor test, and the third would be stator winding DC resistance test. Uh, if, when we uh, finish those three tests, we can determine the equivalent circuit parameters, that means R1, R2, X1 and X2. So if we know those parameters and the excitation component so that we can determine the uh, performance for the induction machine. So now uh, let us see how to do the first test which is no load test. So let me uh, show you how to do the no load test. So here uh, the first thing we should have to see is here we have a meter which is different from the other meters that means by using this meter we can measure the uh, power that mean I mean the current the voltage and the watt at the same time so I'm using this meter uh, to do the three uh, measurements that means I can connect the wire that goes to the motor to this terminal to the load terminal and then I will connect the two wires to the power source terminal here so that I can measure by changing here, I can measure the current, the voltage, and the watt at the same time. So uh, the first thing that we should have to do is we should have to calibrate the meter to zero. So let us say uh, we calibrate it to zero because it works only at 0 0.1. So uh, we calibrate it, the measure, I mean the meter, then we can uh, go to do the null of test. So uh, in order to do the null of test, as you see here, we have the induction machine. So the induction machine uh, parameters are uh, 220 when it's connected into delta and 380 when it's connected in a stack. And also uh, the respective value for the current delta is 11.8 and the star is 6.8. So uh, we are connecting the motor in a stack. So as you, as you know this is the phase one type induction machine. So we are going to short the KLM parameters or the rotor uh, slip rings in a star so that we can run the machine as a square linkage one. Now I will start the motor and then I will give a source. So we have one source and the other one and the third one. Then I will connect these three terminals to the power source. To the power source. But before that, uh, we can connect the meter in order to measure the watt one and watt two. So now from these two, I will go to the load side, and the other goes directly to the motor. I mean to the source. So as you know, the middle one. Let's measure the middle one here. Okay. So this one goes to the first and uh, it helps me. So, and these two, these two will go to the source side, the source side. So, uh, I connect the source. Now, everything is finished. So, as you see it here, by changing the values, I can measure the I no load, V no load, and P no load. P no load. That means P1, or watt meter 1. Watt meter 1 at this two terminal, at this two terminal. Then when I change this parameter, or when I change this connection here, so that I can measure the other watt here. Now let us measure the watts. So when it is no load test, when it is no load test, I will give a source, which is equivalent with the rated voltage of the machine. So I'm connecting this rewinding source the three phase source. Now I will see the voltage 
until it reaches to the rated voltage of the machine. At that time, I will stop increasing the voltage, then I will take a measurement from the measuring device. Now I will start, then I will see the voltage until it reaches to